This is my new invention, and of course, it is an extended version of this invention, which we reviewed in a previous video. I'm Majid, welcome to Energy Graphy. This is a power generator that receives its energy from permanent magnets. So important point that this system has a source that has a power source from which it draws power, but it does not need any fuel. It gets its energy from permanent magnets. This is a permanent magnet generator. Okay, let's go check it out. Let's start with the components. The foundation is made of composite plastic and the material of the cylinder is polyxy glass which is used only in the concept of this material for the cylinder and in real model another material is used the crankshaft is designed with an aluminium core and a composite shell that is not resistant to magnet and also is designed to do of a flywheel. The connecting rod is also made of composite material with aluminium core and magnetic pistons made by neodymium magnets and fixed magnets. And the most basic new part of this generator and changing this version in the use of electric magnet. The electric magnet creates the positive field to the permanent magnet and neutralize the force of the permanent magnet. For a short time, the generator is connected to the motor by this composite shaft. And we see one box of the electric circuit that uses the sensor to control the electric magnets. So, how does this generator work? When the same poles of the magnets are facing each other, they push against each other and when there are fixed magnets on either side of the piston magnets, the pistons are locked in the center and the crankshaft is a stop. So sensor sends crankshaft position to the electric circuit and the electric circuit turns on one of the electric magnets by capacitor. And then, when the electric magnetism turns on, the force of the fixed magnetism neutralizes, and the piston moves upward without hindrance. When the piston reaches the TDC top dead center, the sensor detected the new position of the crankshaft. And after the piston reaches the top point, electric magnetism turned off and another electric magnet is activated by momentary detection and the other piston moves upwards and after being turned off again it is pushed downward by a magnet These magnets can conserve energy permanently because electric magnets are exchanging energy with them all the time. And this prevents the magnets from losing their magnetic properties. You may say, oh, you can see brushless motors that use permanent magnets and even small electric motors that work full time and use permanent magnets but do not lose their magnetic properties. So, here we can say that magnets in this generator can always produce power permanently. They can retain their magnetic properties. But if magnets work for a long time without contact with electric magnets, their magnetic properties weaken. High temperature can also have a negative effect on maintaining the magnetic properties of permanent magnets. Samarium cobalt magnets are very heat resistant. 
but we want to use an audio magnet high grade N155 Gauss because this magnet is so strong and it can be easily bought in a market. If you think this is not the case, please write your comments below. And now the permanent magnet is run and I start rotating the generator. When the generator is turned on, 20 to 25% of the generator energy is used to charge the capacitor to power the electric magnets. The remaining energy produced can be considered a useful efficiency. This is just concept and I am proffering newer version and I hope to reach the final version soon. Make it and show it to you. And now, finally, jump into the comment, let me know if you like this video. Be sure to check out one of the ones I will link it throughout here. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification. As always, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. I will see you in the next one.